I don't think I've ever found anybody who is like you know active in in space or passionate about space who doesn't also like science fiction. Right? I, I'm not even sure that that exists. <laughs> <laughs> There's a natural crossover between the two. I can hardly imagine many astronauts of the future not being hooked by science fiction somehow as ch children and adolescents. I was definitely an avid reader when I was a child and uh, you know things like uh, it's, it's a classic I mean I'm also almost ashamed to say it but you know Jules Verne's uh, <laughs> novels were, were something big for me when I was a, a young girl. I became a huge fan of Star Trek by my late childhood and uh, adolescence. Of course, I was a big fan of uh, Captain Janeway. Uh, the, uh, you know, Star Trek Voyager came out when I was uh, still a teenager, so that was uh, definitely an inspiring uh, character for me. Um, I think recently we've seen more and more. Uh, it, it seems like there is a trend to actually, finally, <laughs> um, having female-led uh, science fiction movies. I have to say, uh, I, I also never had trouble identifying with uh, with male characters I liked. So, you know, I, I would like people to be able to, you know, really uh, take the best from, from both male and, and, and female um, roles and, and if they find something inspirational, that shouldn't be an, an issue. But uh, I'm also definitely happy to see that there is a trend towards having more and more also uh, lead roles by, by, by female uh, heroines. So that, that's kind of cool. The mere fact of uh, actually being in space and uh, operating as a, as a crew, um, relatively far from from Earth, um, the fact of having a space station out there where you know vehicle and come and go and, and dock, uh, um, it's it, it's pretty science fictiony. Of course, you know we we are used uh, at different visuals, you know, especially from movies and at a different rhythm. I mean, in in, in movies. And novels just keep people engaged. Everything happens very fast, uh, and so real space flight. Um, some people perceive it as, m you know, more boring to watch. But that's just the nature of things because things are a lot slower, right, in, in real life than uh, they are in science fiction. Um, but definitely, you know, we're, we're getting there in implementing some of the things that used to happen only in movies. I think science fiction has created already, you know, in the last century and a half so much, so many possibilities that probably scientists and engineers are going to be busy for centuries to make those happen. Um, however, who knows, I mean, you know, there's no limit to imagination, so, you know, maybe there's something out there that, you know, something more even that science fiction can imagine that we can somehow work on. But definitely, I think, you know, to make some of the things happen that writers and movie makers have managed, and so far, it's probably going to keep humanity busy for centuries to come. <laughs>